another episode here up north. Spent all morning editing the latest video. Finally getting out on the water here to do some fishing. By the way, this is probably the worst boat landing I've ever been to. We're at, I'm at Lake Nelson. By the way, I don't really care because it's such an overfished lake already, but they actually have directions of how to park at the lake. Whatever, not a problem. We're about to get on the water and do some bassin. All right, first spot. So basically green pumpkin red flake, that's what I'm gonna start out with because the water's not, you know, totally dirty. We probably got a couple feet of visibility, so that red flake will stand out pretty good with that green pumpkin. Stay on there. First fish of the day on the jig. I was starting to reel it up and I felt doo -doo -doo, back down. That's a decent fish. Get it. Yes. God, that's a fat one too. Pretty sweet. Probably about 14 incher. Good way to start the fishing off. My GoPro might be overheating. Well, the GoPro's been having some issues, but of course, as soon as I turn it off to let it sit for a little bit, this little guy decides to munch. It's pretty dope. He had the jig all the way down in his mouth. You can even see the mark where the hook was. That little red dot right on the top of his mouth. That's where the hook was. This dude wanted that jig. There he goes. Awesome. Sweetness. Destroyed that little trailer. Oh, got him. Stay on there. Oh, God, he's got me in there good. Come on. Come off. Damn it. That was a big fish. Little guy, real little guy. I ate it as I was reeling it in. Both of the fish catches today have been not on like real hook sets. The first one I, did, well, I guess I did set the hook on the first one. There's another one. That's a better fish. Oh, oh no! Stay down, stay down, stay down. Again, didn't get a hook set. That's a little bit better one. Oh no! Oh, it came off. That was stupid. That was really stupid. That was real stupid. Alrighty. Final spot, I believe. Gonna work this shoreline back to the boat launch and then we'll call her a day. A lot of fishermen out here right now, which is a good thing to see. It means it's the better time is later. Been on here for about three, four hours now. Got like four or five fish actually landed, lost a couple, uh, missed a couple, just full on missed them. I had a guy come up to me, tell me to try some Texas rigs. So that's something to try for next time. Um, I just said they were mostly small anyways. And I still think that a jig is gonna get a bigger bite than say a, a Texas rig or something like that. He said he used Texas rig in a Senko, which is about as finesse as you can go. So. There's one. Oh, that's a better fish. That's a three pounder. Just saw him swimming out with it. And look again, look how far 
down its freaking throat it is. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's a tank. Oh, maybe not. It's about a two pounder or something like that. Good Lord. They've had it down their gullet today. Golly. Look at that. That's dope. Release on our biggest fish of the day right here. Awesome. Awesome fish. There he goes. Awesome. Bass. Yeah, a couple were decent. Oh God, that's a giant. Like this. <laughs> like this. Fairly hooked, fairly hooked, fairly hooked. I probably didn't need the net for him, but. All this size and bigger. <laughs> no, I throw him back. Yeah. The release here. Another awesome fish on the jig. There you go. See you. Yeah, so hopefully these edits will be coming in a little bit more regularly. Um, if my work schedule stays the same as it is now, I might start trying to do one a day. Uh, it'll be a little bit difficult, but we should be able to make it work more regularly than, you know, bi-weekly. Oh my god. I felt tension for so long. God, if that's a fish, that's a giant. Oh my God, it's a giant. Oh my God, it's a giant. Oh my God. Stay down, stay down, stay down, baby. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh God, stay on there. Stay on. Oh my God, it's a giant. Oh God. Well, that's a five pounder. That's a freaking five pounder. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Yes! Woo! Dude, he freaking swallowed that jig. Oh, woo! Oh my, oh my God. Look at how far down he ate that freaking jig. Woo, baby. Oh my God, barely freaking hooked. Skin hooked in the top of the mouth. Jig out, fish caught. Woo! All right, I've been reviving this fish for a while and she's just starting to kick. There she goes. Swim off, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's freaking awesome. Holy mackerel, that's at least four though. That fish had to be four. I'm the jig, dude. People telling me to switch to Texas rigs, hell no. So I do want to kind of tell you guys now that we actually have caught some, oh God. Now that we actually have caught some really decent bass here today, I'm going to tell you kind of exactly what I'm using. I'm not sure what the hell that was. This is a 13 fishing Omen Black Gen 2 rod. It's a 7.1 medium heavy. And then the reel is a Shimano Kanan 150 HG. So a high gear ratio, seven to two to one. And I'm using fishing this Strike King uh, skipping jig with a kind of get bit baits style. Eight, or, uh, what is it called? Havoc Craw, Hell Craw, I don't know. Their craw. Uh, <laughs> I forget what I forget what my own sponsor's craw is. I'm fishing that on 17 pound Seaguar Abrazex fluoro because I'm fishing it around docks, fishing it around stumps, rocks, weeds, pads, pencil reeds, all that good stuff that can put a big old hole in your line. That's kind of that's the, basically the setup that I've been using for the past two trips out. Just gonna fish these last couple docks and uh, we don't get anything. Uh, I guess we'll see you back at the ramp. All right, homies, finally off the water. Had an awesome time fishing this lake for the first time. Excited to have kind of figured out some kind of a pattern, but oh. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time on another exciting episode of Wisconsin Fishing and Outdoors.